Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the two signals X of T and the Y of T. And here we have been given that their respective Fourier transforms are X of F and the Y of F. So here we have been asked to find the expression of this Fourier transform Y of F in terms of the X of F. So first of all, let us find the relationship between the X of T and the Y of T. So if we just invert this signal X of T, then that signal will look like this. And after the inversion, if we compress this signal by the factor of 2, then the compressed signal can be represented like this. So before the compression, the signal was exist for the minus 2 to plus 2. But after the compression, it will only exist from minus 1 to 1. Now to get the signal y of t, we need to shift this signal by the 1. That means with the scaling factor 2, if we shift this signal by the 1, then we will get y of t. And that signal will look like this. And mathematically, it is equal to minus x of 2 times t plus 1. Or in other words, it is equal to minus x of 2t plus 2. So basically, we can say that this y of t is equal to minus x of 2 times t plus 1. So now, we need to find the Fourier transform of this signal. Now for the Fourier transform, we already know the scaling property. That means if x of f is the Fourier transform of the signal x of t, then for the signal x of a t, the Fourier transform can be given by this expression. At the same time, if we have a signal minus x of t, then its Fourier transform will be equal to minus x of f. So for the signal minus x of 2t, the Fourier transform can be given as minus 1 by 2 times x of f divided by 2. So that is the Fourier transform of the signal minus x of 2t. Similarly, here we can also use the time shifting property. So according to this time shifting property, if x of f is the Fourier transform of the signal x of t, then for the signal x of t plus t0, the Fourier transform can be given by this expression. Now here, our signal is minus x of 2t plus 2, right? Or we can say that it is equal to minus x of 2 times t plus 1. So here, basically with this scaling factor, the signal is shifted by 1. Now we already know that the Fourier transform of the signal x of 2t is equal to minus 1 by 2 times x of f by 2. So with this scaling factor, if we shift the signal by the 1, then its Fourier transform can be given as minus 1 by 2 times x of f by 2 times e to the power j times 2 pi f times 1 because here this t0 is equal to 1. So this will be the Fourier transform of the signal minus x of 2t plus 2. Or in other words, this will be the Fourier transform of the signal y of t. That means we can say that the Fourier transform of the signal y of t is equal to minus 1 by 2 times x of f divided by 2 times e to the power j times 2 pi f. And hence, for the given question, this b is the correct answer.